Welcome back to the Tech Coach, and this is a quick video on the Apple TV remote. Uh, we do have a longer video, which we'll post uh, somewhere up here maybe, or in the description below, and you can check out our channel if you wanna see more. So the quick overview is this. This is the Siri remote. This is for the newest Apple TVs from the fourth generation and newer. It's got a whole bunch of features, makes the TV experience really great. At the top here is a trackpad, and you can use this trackpad to scroll through apps, you can scroll through sections of an app, uh, you can, you, this is basically your control and you just move around and you click. And in the settings, you might wanna choose how fast it tracks, you can you can actually control that. So I've got mine on a medium to, to fast-ish setting so that I can get around the Apple TV quickly. Then there is the menu button. And this button here, acts in two ways. One, it's depending on where you are, it pulls up a menu, so it pulls you to the menu. And if you're already at the menu, or if the app function doesn't have a menu, it pulls you back a screen. So in this case, it took us back to the home screen. If we go into the settings app and start like going deep in, um, this will bring you back one screen each press. No matter where you are, a long hold of this brings you right back to the home screen. Next button is the Apple TV button. This opens the Apple TV app, which um, is a place that kind of combines video from across all your other apps, uh, or most of them anyway, and also including the Apple TV Plus, which is Apple's subscription service you might get for free and is worth trying out if you do. You can even pull up, for example, your sports here from your other apps. So I'm pretty excited uh, to do that and uh, this game looks like it's getting down to the wire, so I'm gonna have to hop off here and catch the end of this game. So I'm gonna menu back. Um, another thing that this does is a double tap of the TV gets you to the app switcher, so that's for quickly jumping between your apps, and of course, you just click on the app you want when you're ready. Third thing that this button does is you hold it, and you can get your different profiles. You could switch between profiles and get a few other control panel features. Then you got your volume buttons, which you'll need to set up separately through the TV. It's pretty easy to do though, and it works great. And it means that once you're on your Apple TV, uh, this is all you need. You don't need a second remote. The play and pause button are self-explanatory, and they do a few extra things like on the app screen, holding this down um, gives you airplay. When you hold down on the thing to move apps around, and then you push play, you get a whole bunch of different options. So just a hidden feature there. Then there is the all-powerful Siri button. This allows you to search the Apple TV, to type text in search bars, and um, allows you to even do things like control your smart tech. Okay, so you need to hold the Siri button for it to record you. So as you're holding it, it's recording what you're saying, and then as soon as you let go, it stops. So that's one thing that people kind of um, get confused with a lot. Another really useful thing with Siri is um, and the Siri button is for any search anywhere on the Apple TV, instead of typing in the text in this kind of way, you can just saving private Ryan. And it's m a much easier way to type. And you could do things like search, search YouTube for Apple TV Siri remote, and it will open YouTube the YouTube app and it will search for that. And there is our original video. So if you wanna check that out, definitely do that. Or we have a more recent video where we go over the newer features. And um, another really cool feature of this is that the whole remote is controlled and represented on the iPhone. So inside your control panel, there's a little Siri remote and there's the full thing. It looks a little different. It's laid out a little different, but it's got the trackpad, all the same buttons, and they all do the same thing. But that's an overview of the Apple TV Siri remote. We'd love to hear what you think about this device in the comments or shoot us any questions you have and we'd be happy to help you out. Check out our channel for a more detailed overview of this remote and a whole bunch of Apple TV videos. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. Tech it easy.